In this guide, I'm going to show you how you can install Light Matica 1.21.10 here in Minecraft so that you can use schematics very easily. Before we dive into this guide, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel with all notifications on. If you're really just helping the channel, let us know that you want more content like this. We'd greatly appreciate it. And if at any point that this guide, you do have any questions, just ask us down in the comment section below and we can help you out further. I'm going to be doing my best to reply to every single comment down there. But first things first, if you have Minecraft open, go ahead and close out of that. And yes, that does include the launcher right here. But what you're going to want to do is actually open up a web browser of your choice. And once you do have your web browser open, go ahead and search for modern.com and specifically go into the light Matica section and go to the version section right here and filter it by game version 1.21.10 and as you can see there's going to be a download button right here select download and it's going to begin downloading up at the very top for you just like so now what you're going to want to do is actually open up another web browser and search up curseforge.com go into minecraft go to the browse all section and first go ahead and search for fabric api go ahead and select the top option go into the files tab and then filter it by game version 1.21.10 and then select the three dots right here and hit download file it's going to take you to a page that looks like this and it takes around five seconds for it to automatically start downloading for you it may say suspicious download if it does for you just select it and hit download suspicious file don't worry this is safe Open up a new tab and search up fabricmc.net and go ahead and hit download on it just like so and then hit download for windows and what you're going to want to do when that fabric installer does download is actually select this installer just like so and it's going to open up a page that looks something like this make sure you select minecraft version 1.21.10 and then make sure this little create profile option is ticked off hit install and then hit okay when it finishes and what you're going to want to do now is actually open up that minecraft launcher first things first check to see if that fabric loader is loaded in here for minecraft 1.21.10 then go into the installations tab and find that exact same loader and select the installations folder just like so scroll down on this page until you do see the mods tab open it up and if there's anything in here you can go ahead and delete it but you don't have to just keep that in mind but essentially go ahead and open up your file explorer here and open up a new tab for it and go into your downloads and what you're going to want to do is drag in fabric api and then also drag in that light matica fabric section right here close out of your other tabs on chrome and finally what you're going to want to do is actually search for one more mod and this is going to be ma lalib on mod Rant. now you could just search up specifically for model live just like so and then click on that top link and what you're going to want to do is go to the versions tab again filter it by 1.21.10 it's going to be a platform for fabric and just hit this little download folder and then open up that minecraft launcher confirm that it is on 1.21.10 go into your installations folder find that exact same one and then go into the folder icon right here Open up the mods folder specifically from within here. Open up another file explorer. Go to that downloads tab and drag in Light Matica, Fabric API, and Malalib right in there. And close out of all of these and then back out and hit play. From here, it's going to open up Minecraft. And now you can load into any world that you would like. I'm just going to choose this one up at the very top. But as soon as you get loaded in to that world, just like so, all you have to do is actually just hit M on your keyboard and you're going to see the Light Matica menu. And boom, schematics are going to be working. If you want to add the optional Light Matica printer mod, just search up that mod on either CurseForge or ModRenth and download it for Minecraft 1.21.10. But if this guy did help you out, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel with all notifications on. It really does help the channel and lets us know that you want more content like this. We'd greatly appreciate it. And if at any point throughout this guide, you do have any questions, don't hesitate to ask us down in the comment section below and we can help you out further. I'm going to be doing my best to reply to every single comment down there. Have a great rest of your day though. Peace.